जैसे आपने क्वेश्चन पूछा कि कैसे उसको ओवरकम किया तो सर आई वुड से सर सर टेंथ को प्रॉब्लम था सर नाइन्थ को मैं हॉस्पिटल में था बट आई केम टू डेली एंड सर वन ऑफ माय भाई इज इन इज इन सिविल सर्विस एक्सटेंडेड वन नॉट इन माय टाइम सो ही टोल्ड मी व्हाट मैक्स कैन हैपन जहां से हम नहीं होगा उससे हमें क्या हो जाएगा उन तो टेंथ का एग्जाम है ये नहीं होगा ना ऐसे में क्या हो जाएगा सर माई मोटिवेशन वॉज डेट जहाँ से ना क्या होगा नहीं होगा डेट एस ट्राई एवरी वन इज ट्राइंग सर बिकॉज वेन यू डोंट एक्सपेक्ट एनी थिंग ना द रिजल्ट कम आउट सो आई वेलकम मिस्टर मृदुल शिवहरे इन दिस इंट्रैक्शन एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन योर सक्सेस यू गॉट रैंक टू फोर्टी मोस्ट वेलकम सो यू गॉट रैंक टू फोर्टी सेवन and it was your first attempt with political science and international relations optional so it's not easy it's a great achievement in the first attempt at a very young age of 21 years so you are a source of inspiration for the young people so i would like to ask uh, you know very basic questions uh, which will help our students and the audiences know about what are your six, uh, success mantra so can you please share your uh, uh, basic uh, information like uh, where did you come from your educational background and when did you start preparing for the upsc thank you sir for giving me the platform for interacting with the teachers friends sir as you mentioned my name is mrul shivare i have secured rank 247 in this year examination sir i am from datia district of madhya pradesh i have done my school in datia only and then i am i have done the ba political science from indore very small college aryan college in indore and since the, after the second examination i am permission and sir it was around 3 year journey for me 2.5 year to 3 year journey for me and this is my first attempt and sir i fortunately clear in this the very first attempt okay wonderful so uh, you started your upsc journey in your graduation yes sir so what are the basic uh, steps that you uh, followed like how did you uh, started the book choice did you use the ncert sir initially i would have suggest that what i have done sir polity and economy sir because there was a strategic reason behind it so for example after doing polity we can read these papers well because whatever news is coming in the current affair in the newspaper they are mostly from polity economy and ir so first i had done the polity policy with lakshmi kant and mrunal sir's notes and then after that i read the newspaper and sir after that i started reading the newspapers about at uh, ncert is for history and geography this was my initial mode of preparation very 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 accurate uh, i mean i always suggest the same thing to the student that polity and economy they are the base of the preparation so prelims means and uh, you also started in the same manner i think that is the best strategy so uh, do you think ncert is helped you if yes then how to you know use the ncert in the preparation sir today i have read only five ncerts three for history and uh, first year four for geography and seven ncerts 11 the geography ancient medieval and modern history ncert And apart from that, I have never touched any of the NCERT. Although I have read some part of the eleventh class polity book, but sir, as my option was PSIR, so I found that my I have having enough content to write for the GSU. So I only refer to seven NCERTs. Okay, very good. And so then, majorly uh, coming to your yeah. question, that yeah, yeah. NCERT forms a building block of the preparation, and I would say that what uh, you can understand the history only with the NCERTs. The study should be with the NCERT, and there we can shift to the standard books like Vibhav Chandra or the Spectrum. What is particularly required? Right, right, right. Got it. And uh, what about notes making? How how did you make the notes for uh, current affairs? Uh, notes बनाने जरूरी होते हैं क्या? इतने voluminous books होती हैं तो कैसे balance करें कि notes बनाएं और या ना बनाएं? बनाएं तो कैसे बनाएं? Sir, notes are made by USP in this examination. and sir i would like to share my my journey with this sir i put in the main time so i left the question of 170 marks sir you can understand the questions of 170 marks i left in the main then to i got 
ट्वेंटी The themes get repeated in the every alternative years, so I would say that syllabus, PYQ, and note taking of the every point in the syllabus that is very much important. Very very uh, precise mantra I will say. I mean this is the crux of the entire preparation that you master the syllabus, prepare the notes of the syllabus, and master the previous year question. That's uh, you know very very basic mantra, but very underestimated or underutilized by the aspirant. so you know thank you yes, very much for sharing i mean as a teacher i always uh, keep sharing this thing that syllabus notes making and pyq please don't leave this and the simple this preparation is simple and you are the living example of using this mantra and getting the success also uh, thank you for sharing this what is the importance of tests i mean prelims tests especially uh, should we start from the starting only or should we you know do before the exam only Sorry, sir. I am not the right person for this because till now I have not given any single. I have not written any single question in any test series. Not even a single answer I have written in any question issue. I okay. have only written again and again PYQs around ten times, eight times. So I would. I have not written a single answer. So I am not the right person for to answer this question. Right, but uh, as you said, that your source of questions are PYQ, right? So that means you have you practice the PYQ multiple times. Yes, sir. So you suggest that we should practice sir, the PYQ. Sir, actually, yeah. what my strategy was was very simple. Yeah. Yeah, sir. I think your connection error is there. Uh, my uh, connection is poor. Sir, actually. Yes, yes. Hmm. Yes, please. Yes. Sir. Yeah, please continue. Sir, what yeah. I have done? Suppose any topic is the role of NGOs. Role of NGOs is there the topic. Sir, prepare the fourth page notes. Sir, people used to write the definition of NGO. What is NGO? But I used to do context building of the answer. India is a welfare state. We need to establish social democracy in India. Social justice in India. DPSPs are there. Debts and the capacity of the state is limited. That's why we need NGO as a developmental part of the state. This is the kind of context building I used to do. Sir, then I used to come for the. Like collaborative and governance, which government is talking about, Jan Bhagidari, Jan Andolan, and sir, in this valuation, what what I used to do is that supreme judgment is there in any case is there, any committee is there. For example, in NGO there is SPJ Kumar committee is there, second DRC is there, FCRA is there, and sir, during the COVID times, the Akshay Patra Foundation was distributing the food to the migrants. I used to think of these examples. These practical examples. And the secondly, I would cite an another example. Generally, in Hindu marriages, there are seven pages are there. Seven pages are there. But sir, in Hindu, there are there are eight pages are there. Eight pages are there. The eighth is for cleanliness. This shows the social influence. Uh, sir, is doing that. So, sir, if I believe that if you are giving such examples of practicals, grassroots level example, this gives a very good impression to the examiner. And sir, keywords play an important role in the answer writing. That regulatory cholesterol, subcap prayas, trusted steel frame, trusted steel frame, peptic bureaucracy. These kind of keywords, sir. Uh, I remember the two keywords I used in the examination: T and A approach in the pain paper two. Dialogue, negotiation, action, outcome approach, and BEM approach in the next exam question: winning hearts and mind approach in the mains question. So, sir, I feel these type of keywords, these type of value addition, plays an important role in the fetching good mark. And so that's why I scored eight zero seven after leaving the question of one seventy marks. Mm, that's uh, yeah, that's really very amazing to know that uh, uh, you left one uh, seventy marks. I mean, out of thousand marks, you attempted only eight 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 thirty marks, uh, and then you no, got. No, sir, 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 with with optional, with option, with optional also. Sir, with okay, okay, also including also including optional, marks. you left one seventy marks. Oh wow, I mean. One one five double zero. You left one seventy. That means almost ten percent questions you left in every paper. 
and despite that you got very good score so uh, just you know that's Sir, very practical strategy i got strategy. covid at for that point of time mm -hmm. i got yes, covid please, please. at that point of time so uh, there is vomiting issue was there around 20 minutes i used to the vomiting in the classroom so i was not able to complete the paper because of that okay okay otherwise if had it been normal then you would have been in the top 10 i think so <laughs> so this i cannot say at this point of time mm -hmm. yeah yeah definitely but uh, definitely 20 minutes means a lot i mean you you missed a lot of but despite that uh, the thing that you are scoring very good marks uh, you know despite leaving the uh, despite leaving the questions it shows only one thing that if we focus with on the quality with limited uh, con uh, with limited questions yes, also sir. we can get good marks we don't have to run behind every question we don't have to run yes, behind sir. every topic if we choose the right topic and as you told that you followed a smart approach use of keywords linking with the history context why why uh, india is following yes, the subsidy approach so we can go back to the history that we are a welfare state so sir one more question was there in the gs1 hmm. uh, two questions were there on the national movement sir i give the first line that indian nest movement was a counter hegemonic movement in the gramscian terms hmm that means if you link some philosophical ideas the same way bhakti subhi movement sir hmm. i added four line extra so first is the bhakti subhi movement was the amalgamation of great tradition and little tradition in india and so in the conclusion i wrote ke in the present era when we are some, some sort of intolerance we need to revive the spirit of bhakti era brotherhood gender justice gender equality caste equality so sir i feel this two lines in the introduction to line conclusion adds more mark to your answers right so, right right to good winning examination wonderful so writing the good introduction good body and good conclusion and even in the history questions if you are able to write that uh, or in the current affairs questions if you can relate to the history so it will be great uh, uh, combination which you have been done done and that's very good tip everyone please yes, note note these tips these are very small small tips so iske liye hame zyada content ki zarurat nahi hai we don't need more content what we need is interlinking the existing content so really thank you very much for yes, sharing sir, this i am hmm. sir i am having a telegram channel where i am uploading all my notes on every point in the syllabus for gs and optional as well as the model answer written by me for the pyqs i am uploading all all the things there so people okay. can find download from there and can have some benefit in the main side wonderful so wonderful nice. definitely uh, we will share that uh, telegram channel in with, with our student also so that they can see how you have been preparing how uh, what kind of notes you are preparing so that will be good definitely uh okay so uh i think you have shared a very smart approach for answer writing i wanted to ask a question for the answer writing but you have shared a very good approach number 1 focus on pyq write the pyq again and again and number 2 uh, write the small answers the small uh, you know with smart answers basically linking uh, with the previous or the current example yes sir so that's very very uh, wonderful and how did you manage the current affairs sir this is a common question that are asked everywhere sir uh, i would like to divide into two parts prelims and mains sir for the mains i feel more than current it is the contemporary affair which is more relevant so for example us china rivalry is not the issue of today this is going from past three decades same as with indo pacific same as constitutional morality women in judiciary women in parliament so i feel more than current affair i have identified the themes of pyq because sir around about 20 question 13 question get repeated the themes used to be repeated after every alternative year so sir i think sir for example hunger issue is there sir first i delivered a three page notes of hunger sir what will be changed in the next year is only ghi global hunger index in india's ranking plus any model in the news so in our time there was a model of arunachal pradesh arun pds model that was a news sir only i used to add this example in my ever note under the heading of the governance portion that my content my literature remain the same for the hunger hunger uh, topic but only i will add these two three things that arun pds hunger index ke india mein ranking kitna hai recent hunger index any other case studies there 
this will only i will add in the from the newspaper from the current affair apart from that i have never done any coaching magazine any monthly magazine i only followed the hindu religiously and made the notes out of the case studies if any ias has done great work for example our avinash sharan or sir was sir has done a great work he took her daughter to the midday meal school and ate the midday meal at the sitting on the ground so this showed kind of humility in him i should i to copy paste this kind of example from the newspaper in my ever note under the relevant headings like internal security governance social justice i used to only link this context with the current affair so there was a question on the gs2 that role of women empowerment and judiciary representation of women in judiciary there was a question number 4 i think sir people are saying that this is from current affair because of the speech of justice jai ramanna but sir what i have done i used to context building last year gwalior high court had given judgment that a rapist should marry a girl whom he, he has raped this shows the insensitivity of judiciary towards the women issues that's why we need more women in the judiciary sir i should do this kind of context building that it is something some sort of current affair in the literature remains the same so sir, right, i right. don't believe that much in current affair for the main and sir Wonderful. for the prelims what i have done for the prelims what i have done uh, at that prelims time in the two months last two months i read the current affair of economy and environment for three institution only in economy and environment and sir i must admit at this point of time that i don't know the as of science and tech i passed the examination prelims mains and interview and finally ranked, ranked in the list but i don't know what is the as of science and tech so i should admit at this point of time that because all the aspirants that i don't know about science and tech but I you were very good in strength. but very you, you were very good in other things economy polity were your strength i will say ha uh, so this might be the case hmm yeah yeah i completely agree so uh, one thing uh, which uh, i can understand from you is mains in the mains uh, we should prepare topics which are in contemporary affairs for last few years and we don't we should not run behind yes, the news actually rather we should pick up only facts and case studies and some things from the current affairs rather than uh, you know covering from yes, end sir. to end that's very very right strategy i suggest the same thing that make a list of the topic prepare those topic in a comprehensive manner then current affairs will not be nothing will like it will not matter much just have to pick up some facts maybe some case sir, studies i want to add one point in this sir we need to relate those topic with the syllabus and we do we should use currently for only for the context building of the answer that why that question has been asked we should only do context building from the current news and we should read as you are about the themes and the topics you are talking of talking about so i would say that you should link that topic with the syllabus that something should be mentioned in the syllabus but you should link with the that news that topic which you are talking about so this is what i would like to add in this right 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 yeah very much very much practical aspect so we have to simplify the current affairs we have to focus on high yielding area and uh, we don't have to you know uh, get overwhelmed by the current affairs ki char ghante daily current affairs pad rahe hain end to end pad rahe hain multiple magazine pad rahe hain i think usse kya hota hai ki hum core areas ko pura bhul jate hain so aaj ke samay mein ek, one of the biggest problem is the prelims very difficult to clear like people are saying ki uh, paper is difficult and uh, you know questions are very very uh, out of the box questions so what do you think can hold over the core areas or having good coverage of the core areas will help here what do you think sir for the prelims i would like to get take 2 minutes of you sure sir please. first an aspirant should identify how many questions are asked from any particular subject sir my rnd says 16 questions from polity 16 to 18 for economy, 5 to 7 for modern, 10 from ancient medieval culture, 20 from environment. This makes around 70 to 75 question, 80 question round. Answer polity and economy and modern history. The sources are fixed. The questions will come from that source only. That means I read polity, Lakshmi Kant, Brunel, Sir's notes and uh, Spectrum. These topics are fixed. Books are fixed. Sir, if any aspirant is having 90 percent accuracy. in this key subject he or she is finally with the 80 marks in the prelims now is the story of 10 to 12 marks sir for this i would say for the environment uh, some books are there in the market which are teaching what is food chain what are food web what is eutrophication 
but upsc is interested in ex body is there ex body is statutory or constitutional under which it has been established who is the chairman of this are there in the act critical wildlife habitat this act kendra banaya gaya hai ex national park is there usse kaun si river nikalti hai kaisi grassland hai uske aas pas kaun sa species paya jata hai sir i feel this five six topics which i mentioned in the telegram group and the in my blog these five six sir i I have noted twenty-five pages for environment, twenty-five pages only, and I found ten questions from that twenty-five pages only. Because that the topics are fixed, five six topics are there: bodies, conventions, act, and net and national park tiger reserve, biosphere reserve, surrounding peripheral news about them. And sir, I even don't know what is food chain, what is food web. I don't know even today what is this food chain, food web. By the way, listening to your so, conversation, I am very happy that. Uh, Uh, your success was not random actually it was well thought out i mean uh, the the things which you are discussing precisely i follow the same approach i tell to the student also that you focus on the core areas which they are asking asking in the exam like even you told me that you are not uh, very good in science and tech but in coaching I institute what is happening in tech even <laughs> what is happening in the coaching institute is they are teaching Uh, DNA versus RNA in three lectures or two lectures, which is not coming in the exam, even if they ask, but it's not that much important. So if you focus on the core areas, three subjects: polity, economy, environment, and history. Four subjects. I think we can solve most of the problem. Everything is uh, doable, right? So you. So the problem comes when when people instead of going for PYQ, they go for more and more mock tests of coaching institution. The problem starts there, sir. Because if they will identify the questions, around seven to eight questions get repeated in the prelims. Beat the option, beat the question. Right. So, sir, I would say please do R and D of only Bible, Bible for this examination. Right, right. Actually, we are simplifying the things. Actually, mostly uh, when we uh, listen to the uh, recent, recently qualified people, they will tell. i read this source this as that source read that book but uh, listening to your conversation you are actually simplifying like experience are laughing neha i can see uh, she is very smiling because it is her first attempt and i think the people who are, who are in their first attempt they should be happy that they can clear the exam in the first attempt by having the simplified strategy you know you should sure. not think ki you should not think ki kisi ne sixth term mein qualify kiya to mujhe bhi sixth term lagenge mujhe bhi ya koi fail kar raha hai to main bhi fail karna padega mujhe bhi Right? It's not like that. So I, I think Mridul, uh, I should ask the same question to you. Uh, this is your first attempt, so you must be feeling uh, demotivated sometimes. Looking into that, how many people are multiple times repeat, that I can qualify, that I can't qualify, that I can't qualify, and up, and your strategy was very simple. So how did you, you know, keep motivated yourself with a simple strategy, not getting diverted? Because the biggest problem with the current uh, generation is diversion, information overload. जैसे आपने बताया कि टेस्ट ज्यादा प्रैक्टिस करने से प्रॉब्लम होता है अभी टेस्ट मार्केट में अवेलेबल है फ्री रिसोर्स वेबसाइट पे अवेलेबल है टेलीग्राम चैनल पे अवेलेबल है कोई टेस्ट से ज्वाइन करने की जरूरत नहीं है तो एक्सपीरियंस दे आर कलेक्टिंग लॉट ऑफ टेस्ट फ्रॉम मल्टीपल सोर्सेज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट एंड यू आर सेइंग दैट इज डाइवर्टिंग सो आप डाइवर्ट क्यों नहीं हुए इन चीजों से हाउ डिड यू मैनेज योरसेल्फ सर सर पहला आपको क्वेश्चन था मोटिवेशन वाला सर द कोर प्रॉब्लम ऑफ माय डीमोटिवेशन वाज दैट Every student is from IIT, a JNU, DU, and I am from a college. This college, which has five cameras, I am getting three. Oh, getting three five cameras. From the from the Tia only. Sir, I have been from Indore, dummy admin. So people are from DU, JNU, IIT. They are from the first attempters. So the my core area of this motive motivation was that I am from a five room college. How can I do in the year of twenty or twenty two? And so secondly, I would say the motivation. Sir, I, I, sir, I only see the one answer for this. That is a why. Why do you want to be an IAS officer? This should be very clear, crystal clear in your mind. Because once you give the answer of why, nothing gonna stop you. Because any topper will come. He will guide you. Topper entry is going on. They are from five seven days only. But the real motivation is why do you want to be an IAS officer or whatever maybe by foreign service or civil servant? And so the kind of diversion. So the problem is that I had make the notes from all the sources because I had very much time in the past two point five years. So I have made the crisp notes from the all the sources in the market. I will not say I don't have FOMO. 
fear of missing out mm-hmm. uh, but initially i had for more that i i will lose some i will lose the competition but i made the notes as i i will show you you will never find such in the market because people to repeat the their points they don't have the examples for example the role of women in pri people will write pr bet pr ki patri rg but i used to write the role of sabhi raja bhat sushma badu resource studies in the grassroots empowerment undp report nishchi pandya ji raj report this gives some credibility to your answer and essentially the only prime minister says we should end the sarpanch pandit syndrome this is the biggest uh, issue for our country so this is kind of the practical i feel the practicality is most respected in the upsc until and unless practical examples cannot uh, succeed and instead the kind of distraction this is very normal for the aspirant every third day you feel ki hum kyon kar rahe hain kiska hi hota hai che attempt lag jate hain to 32 ke ho gaye hain i am just 20 21 year old aisa nahi hota 10 lakh log baithte hain only 180 get i is every year this is the part of process and sir i would say this is not a exam this is the process this is a part of process of demotivation the more you read the more you study the more you will get demotivated there is no any doubt of doubt upon this <laughs> and if right, everyone right. is saying that i was confident this i would say the biggest lie of this exam right 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 is exam mein aapko agar aap keh rahe hain ki confident hai to iske matlab ya to aap jhoot bol rahe hain ya fir aapne seriously taiyari ki nahi hai because itna syllabus hai itna overwhelming hai aap confident reh hi nahi sakte the only thing is you have to be consistent jo jitna padega लोगों को यही चीज बोलता हूँ सिंप्लीफाई कीजिए अपनी प्रिपरेशन को Don't complicate. Make your own notes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any question? Pucha? That how he was overcome? Kiya. So, sir, I would say, sir, sir, tenth ko uh, prelims tha. Sir, ninth ko main hospital mein tha. But I came wow. to Delhi. And sir, one of my brother is in is in civil service. Uh, extended one, not in my family. Mm. So he told me what max can happen. Jahan se nahi hoga, se yahan kya ho jayega? Kono sir, tenth ka exam hai ye. नहीं होगा ना ऐसे ना क्या हो जाएगा सो माय मोटिवेशन वाज दैट जांच ना क्या होगा नहीं होगा लेट अस ट्राई एवरीवन इज ट्राइंग सर बिकॉज़ व्हेन यू डू नॉट एक्सपेक्ट एनीथिंग ना द रिजल्ट्स कम आउट सर आई स्टिल रिमेंबर द एपीपीसीएस प्रीलिम्स आई गेव फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द माय लाइफ इन 25 जुलाई सर आई वाज नोइंग 82 क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ 100 क्वेश्चन बट बाय द क्लैश ऑफ ईगो दैट व्हाट पीपल विल से इफ आई फेल्ड इन द एपीपीसीएस ओनली Sir, I only marked seventy correct. The I marked twenty twenty twelve questions. So because there were expectations were there, the stakes mm-hmm. are very high that you should clear. But then UPSC, my only motivation was that what next can happen? जहाँ से नहीं होगा. Right. उससे ना क्या हो जाएगा? Very simple actually. You are very simple person <laughs> and very practical person. I will say. <laughs> wonderful wonderful so people are also also interested in knowing your strategy for the optional because political science optional is one of the very uh, you know popular optional as well as uh, uh, you know uh, how to you know simplify the psir psir preparation uh, like you can give a detailed strategy in maybe few minutes over to you sir i have done classroom coaching in some coaching institution and i first i read their notes only classroom notes that was really comprehensive really good and so then i found that all are reading this only how to make the difference so for that for paper one part a it was a weakest part of my preparation the theoretical part of ps political science so i relied completely on maps notes only and sir so for the for the rest three parts paper one part b 2a and 2b i made maps notes as a basic source then i made the crisp notes of myself Every topic mentioned is there were two pages, one, two, and three and four. Sir, again I had done interlinking of the syllabus. You should link the paper one part A with the paper one part B. How the caste politics is linked with the syllabus to write issue in the paper one part A. Sir, I have to link these 
टाइम ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट इन द पेपर इंडियन गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटिक्स रूल ऑफ कास्ट पार्लियामेंट क्लाइन में क्यों है डू वी नीड प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्ट सिस्टम और नॉट वाई द गवर्नर इज असर्टिंग इट सेल्फ देर आर समोलिटिकल पैराडाइम बिहाइंड दिस वाई देर इज इशू वाई देर इज नीड ऑफ ग्रास रूट डेमोक्रेसी इन इंडिया देर आर समोलिटिकल टच टू दिस and once we are able to give some bun to land touch philosophical touch in this question your score is above average so sir for the rest three parts i made my own notes i will again i will say it was my usp in the examination it helped me sail through so i made the notes of paper 1 part b 2a and 2b and for the paper 1 part a i relied completely on the ma'am's notes this was my strategy and sir fortunately you will never you will not believe that in the gs2 and optional i found my topic my note topic number 1 question number topic number 2 question topic question number 3 in the above five question i found the same in the line up i thought this they have made the paper from my notes only this is what i was thinking as after thinking a gs2 and optional paper because there was sequential order was there in the paper very very there can be lucky uh, part also, also. incidental <laughs> very good very good but it uh, like preparing notes interlinking it was uh, your your work your, your strategy actually it was not uh, coincidental it's just that yes, they came up directly in the same sequence but you have done a very uh, good work actually i would say it was a very well thought out attempt and uh, very 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 well planned attempt very well executed plan, uh, attempt so there is a big question in the aspirants mind how many hours should we study kitna padhna chahiye basic questions hain everyone knows कि कितना पढ़ना होता है कैसे पढ़ना होता है बट स्टिल आई वुड लाइक टू लिसन फ्रॉम योर योर माउथ सर एक्चुअली आई थी इन दिस एग्जाम दिस इज नॉट अ राइट राइट क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी आवर्स सर इट्स इट्स अ इट्स अ लॉन्ग टर्म लॉन्ग जर्नी इट मे टेक्स इयर्स ऑफ इयर्स सर आई फील दैट कंसिस्टेंसी इज द रेयरेस्ट ऑफ इन क्वालिटी वी वुड लाइक टू कोट जेरेमी वेंथम व्हेन ही सेड कंसिस्टेंसी इज द रेयरेस्ट ऑफ रेयरेस्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन क्वालिटी शुड बी कंसिस्टेंट बेटर बे 6 आवर्स 8 आवर्स और 10 आवर्स But consistency is very much important in this examination. So because people used to study around 18 hours for one day, then they take rest for two days. Because it is not sustainable for for a long term. It may take one attempt, four attempt, six attempts as well. Because it is very much important to become eyes officer, not to count the attempts actually. So I feel the hours you can sustain for a long term. This should be your only let must test. Because Six hour, eight hour, whatever it may be. Consistency should be there. Consistency should be there, and break should not be more than study time. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. जो आपने बताया कि एक दिन पढ़ के दो दिन की छुट्टी वो नहीं चलेगा. आप consistency maintain करना होगा. Yes, sir. Wonderful. So uh, uh, finally comes the interview part. So in interview, uh, like uh, how did you prepare? What was your strategy for interview? Was it complicated? जितना बनाया जाता है कि UPSC interview is very difficult, very complicated. What is your sir, experience? Sir, I got sir, I got only one fifty one fifty four marks in the interview actually. Uh, so actually, I prepared a lot. I have given lot of mocks, but sir, then I found mocks is not the UPSC. The same I realized in the prelims and mains. But sir, for the interview, I found we should give more and more marks because I sir till the interview I had never spoken before any of the personalities like them. So I thought that I am in the introduction. Who are the propaganda of realism? Hence, Morgan Fisher, Kenneth Walt is there. Some historical background of that realism. Sunjus, Kautilya, the art of war, Peloponnesian War of the Athens. This kind of history should be given. so then we should write uh, uh, the theory of realism what is classical realism neo realism and sir what makes the difference is the last paragraph how the realism is working in the present era some scholars are saying that the realism is in decline but sir what makes the... hello yes please continue please uh, there was a minute हाँ सर लास्ट पैराग्राफ में क्या लिखना है कि हाउ रियलिज्म इज नॉट इन डिक्लाइन आफ्टर 2001 द चाइना सडनली से इंक्रीजिंग देयर इज अ हेजेमनी गेम इन द इंडो पैसिफिक अफगान गेम इज गोइंग ऑन रशिया ग्रुप क्राइसिस इज गोइंग ऑन दिस शो दैट द पेंडुलम ऑफ इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिक्स शिफ्टिंग टुवर्ड्स रियलिज्म ऑल दो सम स्कॉलर्स आर आर्ग्यूइंग इन फेवर ऑफ लिबरलिज्म 
So this we should connect with the present scholars like Mir Shaimar is talking about this, Raj Dosi is talking about this. So the aspirants should link the uh, some scholars of the uh, earlier scholars who has given the theory of realism with the present scholars. What Raja Mohan is talking about. For example, Harshvi Pant is the scholar of India, Indian scholar. His book is the Modi era, Indian international relations. So you can write according to Harshvi Pant in his book, the Modi era. This this uh, uh, is observation is there. So this shows that how you are linking with the theoretical part of realism with the contemporary relevance of realism. Because the relevance part which people used to miss. They are the theoretical part only. They used to miss the relevance part. A relevance part gives you the extra two marks. I would give a check, check, checklist for the IR or PSIR questions. One theoretical paradigm for that, what are the scholars of this, ideas of a scholar behind the idea, and the relevance of that theory in the present era. Like democracy question paper from part A. You should write the, how democracy can decline in the present context. As an example, capital hill event in the USA. How the democracy can decline? The rise of right party, rise of Trump, rise of Macron. This shows how the election of Tocqueville was concerned in the 19th century that democracy will become, will become movocracy and how it is becoming in the present era. By the examples. So this shows that how we are linking with the theoretical part of the history of the political science with the present context of the international relation of Indian government and politics. Right. This should be a checklist. So interlinking the syllabus and the interlinking the topic is interlinking the theory and current affairs and everything. That is a key. To score high marks wonderful yes. okay so i i think uh, we have discussed all the dimensions uh anshul is asking uh, there is one question uh how can we prepare for our personality test from initial days of preparation could you suggest something like should we read the diversified books actually first thing which i, which I am lacking is that you should develop communication skills you should speak in English before some eminent personalities, if you can. This is the best way to go because in UPSC interview, what matters is the communication skill. Content will come with the time. But I completely ignored the communication skill because sir, I was not from good school and good colleges. So I don't got the chance to appear before some good personalities. I have never been on the stage in, the, in my life. So sir, if you have any chance to go on the stage in the debate, please go ahead. Because the, because the stage fear will go away. And I feel that is, that is where I am lacking. So please, if you can, go to a stage, overcome your stage fear, and speak in English before the pers personalities. This is the uh, I can Right. Practicing more and exposing more to the uh, public, exposing more to the people. That's the mantra. Yes. And one thing, like few things I can observe in your uh, very strong area is like, uh, you are very firm in your speaking. Even though you are like you are saying that you got very uh, you know less marks, but I think one fifty four is a good mark, and uh, uh, you are very firm in your speaking, and you have clarity of thought, the conviction that you have something. I mean that cannot be compensated by any communication skill. Like, uh, like these two qualities, I can see in your speaking: the conviction and the clarity, like, and simplicity of the communication. You are to the point. I mean, I speak to so many toppers, so many. People, but uh, in there, uh, sometimes the, having good communication also becomes complex, more complicated. But uh, you know, having simple communication is also one of the way out to get good marks or uh, communicate clearly. So uh, we have discussed all the possible questions, dimensions, and I know uh, there is no end to the questions. We can go and on and on and on, and you have answered all the questions patiently. Uh, so in last, I, I mean, even though you have given so many points already but in last only two three points whatever you want to suggest to the aspirant that what should they what kind of mindset should they have and how should we, they follow the uh, preparation with and with that with, with that we can complete the interaction sir i will give two points for the academic ones and two for the non-academic ones academic ones my bhakti remains the same of slavers and previous question and note making there is there's no any alternative to this. Nothing will come beyond this. And so for non-academic, please overcome FOMO, fear of missing out, that we should read this book and that book. And sir, uh, please ensure that your social system remains firm. 
you should not uh, leave entire all the life for the preparation because the upsc not beyond your life some people used to leave all this social life and they don't used to go here and there but sir i feel if you are in the limit then everything is important but be in the limit where you should stop in the non academic arena and the secondly i will say the the why answer is very you should write the why answer and why do you want to be an is officer there should be some relevant points there should be some personal emotional and professional reason might be there so please make sure and write them again and again that why do you want to be an is officer this should be very crystal clear in your mind and sir hard work dedication perseverance there is no any alternative and keeping the thing simple keeping the thing simple so uh, don't I, mean, i feel that aspirants used to get stuck in the process because of the some kind of material in the market that some current affair will come and will they will say that this question will come from this current affair please i request all the aspirants present here please after the session take out the print out of syllabus and the previous question please text me on the telegram my link is there on the channel please text me which question is from current affair out of 18 out of 80 question in the gs i saw that you will not find around 7 to 8 questions from the current affair i am are you you agree very nicely hello of, from 2013 from our last eight years so please read and read and write. read less think more revise more and observe more this is the last thing i would like to say very simple thank you mridul uh, thank you very much for your uh, to the point simplified guidance and uh, making the thing simpler uh, with this we can complete the interaction and all the very best best wishes for uh, your future and you are a source of inspiration for so many students here especially the freshers and even those who are uh, struggling in their uh, prelims or mains they can learn that be simple don't complicate the preparation make notes i mean this is something which uh, i also say and every you are also saying the same thing you follow multiple sources not a problem but integrate that into your sources uh, your notes you should have yes, one stop solution before the exam which you can follow which you can revise multiple time and sir one thing i i also want to say that as sir the rank 247 is not by the one man army so i i was helped by many of the aspirants many of the seniors so i am sharing all my content all the things i have even a single paper which is relevant for the examination in my telegram channel i am personally scanning them and sharing them because it is my responsibility to the aspirant community and all of them can download everything they do they not to do any current note making everything is made on they should learn how to use them by adding the previous question so they can download everything from the channel the channel name is mridul shivare ia247 they can download everything from there and i feel that they will help them and in the next year examination they will come with the fine colors all the best wishes to all of them present there thank you mridul thank you for sharing and uh, definitely they should take the benefit of your preparation also <laughs> they should use that also thank you very much thank you so much thank you so much